Hi, I'm Michael Wood. I'm a senior at Walford College. I'm currently an economics and philosophy major. I plan on going to law school. I'm also the executive officer of the Southern Guards Battalion. In this video, you'll hear from students and officers in our program, as well as from the retired Major General Taguba, who spoke on campus in the fall. But first, I'd like to tell you a little bit about the ROTC experience. In ROTC, we do a lot of tactics, work a lot of military drills. You can see a tactic all day long on board or, or work it out in your head, but until you actually put it out, work it out on the ground, see how it works, uh, it's, it's definitely not the same. Physical fitness is definitely, definitely a plus. Uh, each month you take a PT test to make sure that you're, you're staying in shape for the entire month. Uh, so each month you got to continuously stay in shape. It's not a once or twice a year thing. With, with ROTC, especially here at Walford College, commanders always stress that grades come first, no matter what. It does make life interesting trying to juggle the different aspects of military life and learning as much as you can before you become a platoon leader and getting high academic scores. Um, but both of them together, I, I really believe, makes a more complete uh, leader in the end because you can do several things at once. You can multitask. And we want a well-rounded type student, scholar, athlete, leader. We as uh, officers, we, you know, we try to serve as role models for them. And, and it's nice, you know, to see them try to aspire to be something, to be, you know, leaders. And, uh, and, and they, they try real hard and they're dedicated and, and we want them to be great officers, high caliber officers, lieutenants to serve in the military. And of course, officers are leaders. Our ROTC program, unlike uh, a military academy, for example, is nested within the community, in our public institutions and in our private institutions. Um, and an ROTC program uh, offers uh, a wide-ranging uh, venue for, uh, for our students today. Uh, leadership, uh, understanding the culture, for example, military culture. Uh, it has uh, contributions towards academics uh, and, for, the for that matter, as I mentioned, uh, learning how to be disciplined in your life. It's been probably, thus far in my life, the best decision I've ever made. Uh, t they use a tagline for RTC a lot as the best leadership course you can take. Um, I've really found that to be completely true. We get excellent students, uh, high caliber students. Uh, what I talked about earlier was, you know, the scholar-athlete leader type, and most of our Wofford uh, students that are that have entered our program are, you know, fit the SAL criteria. In return, what we can provide to that particular prospect is is uh, scholarships. I love my job. I absolutely love my job. And the reason I love my job is I believe in it. Uh, I'm helping young people reach their goals, not my goals, not the Army's goals, but their goals. Uh, I'm preparing them for both a career in the military and the, uh, the aftermath, you know. Not a, you can't be in the Army forever. Nobody can. So uh, Army officers are set with their tool bags in the corporate world uh, just far beyond their peers. Walford has a, has a long uh, history of, of ROTC. I think it began in 1919 here on the, on the campus. And we're proud of the service of generations of, of Wofford graduates. We think it's appropriate that ROTC be located on the campus of a liberal arts college. Uh, the Army needs officers that are broadly and liberally graduated. And liberally educated citizens need to know something about the history and the role of the military in a free society. Uh, in addition, students uh, uh, develop skills and dispositions in the, in the military training. Uh, le leadership skills, uh, independence, confidence, responsibility. You get more responsibility in the military sooner than in any other organization I know about. And those skills and dispositions are directly transferable to the world of work in any organization in which they, uh, they might find themselves. Walford is very well known. Uh, great campus life. I've enjoyed every faculty member that I've met. Uh, and it just seems like this is a, this is a big family, uh, the, the entire school at Walford here. I think the biggest biggest joy that any military leader have is serving with the young men and women of America. Uh, they're just so inspirational. There's no higher calling. I mean, we're, we're in the, the business of preserving freedom. Thanks for taking a look at the Southern Guards Battalion. 
I hope you'll continue your interest in Walford College and our ROTC program.